This week on SHS Today, we profile an artistic welding student with a bright future. We meet the new host for Nerd News, and later we travel to China with Dr. Helbert and Dexter's principal, Mr. Moran. All this and more on our season finale of SHS Today. Hi, Celine. I'm Taylor Nunley, and we have a few and final stories this week, so let's get started. In the past, we've profiled welders and we've profiled artists. Today, Alex Martinelli helps us get to know someone who can do both. Hello, Celine. I'm Alex Martinelli. The welding program here at Celine has many great students, but one of the most interesting is Forrest Gazowski. He has an independent study where he does metal art. We talked to him this week about his work. Uh, I was kind of in always interested in metalworking and welding is just a great way to do it because if you remove too much material you can add it back, plus it's a very strong way of bonding two materials together, strictly metal. Originally I was welding just for AP art to get the projects done in there because my concentration is um, a welded metal base and a throw-in ceramic form on the potter's wheel. So that's what I was originally doing and then I just went into just making a sculpture strictly for metal. So I made the Primantis that was in the Selene Art Show and just stuff like that. I submitted to Mites Art Competition. I submitted eight pieces. Um, four of them got within fourth to first place. The Primantis took first place. The Scorpion took second place. And then the one big five flower thing that I make that's about this big took um, third place. When you weld on the back side, you're adding metal to it and you're heating the metal up. So you're coloring this side and that's what I was just wanting, so that's why I did a bunch of small little tack welds on the back side just for color to make the turtle look really cool. I'm going to go to Washtenaw for welding and find a career in welding, something in industry. Maybe not so much as the art side of it, but maybe industrial welding. Thanks guys. Now we look into the newest anchor for Nerd News, Colin Williams. Hello everyone, I'm Colin Williams and I will be taking over Nerd News for Joel Miller next year. I'm very excited to be here to bring you the latest and greatest on movies, comic books, games, and all things nerd. That being said, here's one thing you should look out for this summer. Coming out July 24th, Pixels is a comedy starring Adam Sandler and Kevin James about how aliens invade Earth using retro 80s video game characters such as Pac-Man and Donkey Kong. Well, that's it for this small edition of Nerd News. Look out for me next school year. Have a good summer and goodbye. At Celine High School, we had a variety of students visit from different schools around the world. Recently, Celine and Dexter have paired together and decided to add a new country to our list, China. This year, Dexter and Celine are joining in a partnership with three other Chinese schools. Dr. Helber talks to us about the plans. We went to go uh, sign sister agreements with three different Chinese schools, one in Shenyang, one in Chongqing, and one in Beijing. Um, we signed sister school agreements there, and we will be looking forward to having some students from China come to Celine High School next fall. Then, we met with Mr. Moran, the principal of Dexter, to talk about the cultural differences. The state of Michigan has 10 million people. The city of Chongqing has 30 million people in the city. So they're all very, very good schools, all very uh, academic kids, um, but very different. They don't have a, a drama program, they don't have a debate and forensics program, they don't have any athletic teams. So where our kids at 3 o'clock are doing all their extracurricular stuff, their kids are going to be in school till probably 8 or 9 at night. Finally, each principal left us with some final remarks. It was a fantastic trip. Uh, we met with folks today and I told them I would see them again and I think I will see them again. So whether they come here or we go there, 
I think that it's going to be a long-term partnership. I don't think it's a flash in the pan kind of thing. This agreement then becomes, um, has a little bit more of an emotional attachment to it. So it's a lot of fun and it was great, a great trip. Well, that's all we have for this year. And don't forget we're back next September. I'm Taylor Nunley. Have a great summer, Hornets. I'm on top of the world, eh? I'm on top of the world, eh? We've been on this for a while now. Pay my dues to the dirt. I've been waiting to smile, eh? Moments matter. Individual matter. Do not tell me. Do not tell me that life is the same without those two men and those one moment. Do not tell me, by the way, that those individuals don't exist in the future, will not exist. Don't tell me those moments will not happen to you in the future. Don't tell me the future's already been written, because you are going to be the ones who write the future. You are the individuals the world needs next. The moments are in front of you. The future truly is yours. Grab it. Thank you. Now you guys, I, all you guys get to hear me stutter and fail at this. We already said it. Oftentimes during the first trimester, I get asked, "Where is that chase at?" Look how good that food tastes! Wow! Look what they're they're cooking things. The coast is clear. I'm out here in the wild. My name is Bear Trokey. Eh. Coming up, Conlon, I love it. Brings you to with a great set of ideas to make the most of your week. They, he just heat up. He just he raised the heat. He raised the heat, guys. You aren't my dad. Oh, thank God for that. Eh. Ooh. You, the bruise. Oh my god, you're recording. Oh, don't move the camera, come on! <laughs> yes, answering the golden question. Oh. Why is this so hard? Is it getting hot in here or is it just the food? I'm a mess, is what I am. I'm Taylor Nunley and I'm gonna tell you about it. That was crappy. That's a wrap. You're a wrap. I'm gonna wrap you up on a burrito.